let's uh, check out some tweets. And here's our first one uh, from Infozar 73com Has Deflategate left a huge bad taste in your mouth overall? The length, the power, the struggle, the deceptions. No. We forget easily. I mean, it'll always be attached to Tom Brady, and it'll be like uh, Spygate was attached to New England. It'll come up when they're in the Super Bowl. It'll come up from time to time, but it, just get it done. Yeah, I'm tired Man, of it. Just, I don't want to talk about it anymore. We have to, obviously. But, uh, yeah, come to a settlement. Or judge. Make a decision. We'll all live with it. We don't want to live with it any more than we have to. But as Lindsay right. pointed out, there'll be appeals. Whoever loses, True. the NFL's going to appeal. You know, Tom especially Brady's, Brady's going to appeal. Gonna yeah. appeal. Yeah. All right, next one from Justin M. Boudreaux. Who will RG three be playing for come week one? Nobody. How about that? <laughs> Nobody. He <laughs> will not be, be playing. Yeah. Kirk Cousins. That shows you how bad Washington is. Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins has been worse than RG three. RG three has won five games as a starter in the last three. Two years. Guess how many games Kirk Cousin has won as a starter. What is his record? No, you're off by one. He is one and seven. One and, and seven. And a turnover machine. Yeah, yeah Kirk Cousins. But but who will RG3 be Kirk playing for? Kirk Cousins is worse than Cousin Lou from Littleton, if you want to. And uh, Cousin Vinny. I'm staying out of this. Cousin, of course you are. You, you got <laughs> My cousins who still <laughs> go out and do uh, Civil War battles and have the South win. They are losers. Cousins uh, suck. All right, RG3. I, all cousins. All right, I'm going to give you my Have you ever had a great answer. cousin? Anybody here? I, no. Nobody's got a great cousin. RG3 is going to be playing for the Washington Redskins. But he'll be on the bench. Nobody wants him. He'll be, But he'll be in a Redskins uniform. Too much money. Not enough that he's accomplished. Now he's gone through the co protocol. And they can't even decide on the... Can't even decide on the whether he was cleared to play or not to yeah. play. They got two different conflicting and, and reports. The, and the owner still has a thing for him. And as we know, what Daniel backup. Snyder wants, Daniel Snyder gets. He'll be the backup if Cousins doesn't play well in the first yeah. three or four weeks. They'll throw him in there. All right, next from Elko Ramos. Can the Lions beat Green Bay in Green Bay this year? No. <laughs> no. Even the last though, time it's even happened? Now Randall Cobb is now hurt. Yeah. In addition to uh, uh, Jordy Nelson. Jordy Nelson. You know the last time? You know, the last time the Lions won a game in the state of Wisconsin? They played, the Packers, an, they played the, an exhibition game in Milwaukee one year. Well, the, the Packers <laughs> played some of their home games in, in Milwaukee and, of course, uh, most of them in Green Bay. 1991, 24 straight losses for the Lions in the state of Wisconsin. Whatever you want to the, say about the Detroit and, uh, Lions and whether they could compete this year, as you pointed out accurately, they lost their best two defensive linemen. Yeah. I think that's too much for them to overcome to Soon be a factor and to compete against Green Bay or even to be a wild card team. I think the Lions had their shot last year and they're going to go. I agree. Game. I think that's going to be a team that takes a half step back. All right. Lastly, Ty Walden. What is your thought on the Broncos' releases so far, especially Joe Don Duncan? Joe Don Duncan was a, a nice novelty act. Yeah, pretty much. Although if they do sneak him through to the practice squad, look, he's a tough kid. He hits hard. He takes hits well as well. Um, and if they slip him through the practice squad, he'll be there. They'll let him develop for, for a year, maybe two, and then maybe he has a shot. But right now, hmm. I hope that uh, they make an extra cut and bring back Carl Schmitz. One more time. <laughs> one more time for an encore. <laughs> I, thought, I wanted to see him. Couldn't you bring him back for the one game? The one game and let him kick this week? I mean, cut someone else. There are a bunch of players that are marginal players. Cut him, bring him back. Nobody's really taking a look at him. Do you notice that, that he had not signed with anybody Well, else? he hasn't kicked in about seven years. <laughs> that might be a problem. <laughs> this portion of the big stuff brought to you by Gre Oh, there is one more? Yeah. Oh, Great. okay. One more, sorry. You're popular today. Uh, from Robert Cherry. With the new extra point rule, won't Tebow find a home He's somewhere? He's found a home. He's already bought a house. He has been assured. I, I said on another program today that got a laugh. Let's see if it gets one here. Bradford, Sam Bradford played so well. Did you see he almost he threw a perfect game? Yeah, 10, 10 for 10. 10 for 10, 129 or 130 yards, three touchdowns, three series. Bradford paid so good, he's held off the challenge from Tim Tebow <laughs> for who's going to start for the Eagles. Oh, geez. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, the former Dolphins head coach and former uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys head coach, 
said there is a place in the NFL for Tim Tebow as a specialist. You cannot put him in a position where he has to quarterback your team play in play out because if he gets hurt and he gets hurt and he gets hurt a lot because of his style because he runs with the ball it will screw up whoever comes in next because the next quarterback will not be able to run that type of offense and shouldn't because it doesn't work in the NFL. But he, he so, is a specialty player. He's, he is. If there's so, special so, teams, there's a specialty player. So Jimmy Johnson said, if you are strong in every other aspect of your organization and you can afford to bring in a specialist like Tim Tebow, then yes, there is a place for him in the NFL. But he also went on to say he is a terribly inaccurate passer, and that's what every NFL team he's talked to has said. He can't complete a pass to save his life. But as a specialist... Yes, on a particular team, predict, yes. Predict how many plays he'll play in the first game. In the first game? Over or under? Um, seven. I'd take the under. I think in the so first game I. they're not going to really play much. I think they might throw him in for a couple of two-point conversions, and I also think that they might uh, use him once or twice as a, as a gimmick play kind of guy. Yeah, now if Sam Bradford can't stay healthy, I, I, all bets are off on that.